In solving absolute value equations and inequalities, we're going to want to isolate the absolute value. Use opposite operations to get the absolute value by itself. And then we need to split our, our solution into two pieces. The first piece will look exactly like what we see just without the absolute value symbols. Because if we can get what's inside of here to be bigger than 105, then the absolute value will keep it bigger than 105. We also want to reverse the values. So if I can make what's inside of here be negative 105 or smaller than negative 105, then I will also make this situation true. If we can make inside of here be negative 108, absolute value will make it positive, and 108 is bigger than 105. So we're writing the equation exactly as is, drop the absolutes, and then reverse the inequality symbol and negate the solution. We're solving both of these. The solving process is no different from any other kind of equation. Add 19 to both sides. 4x is, is bigger than or equal to 124. Divide by 4 on both sides. x is bigger than or equal to 31. Over on the right, again, same, same steps. Add 19 to both sides. We've got 4x is less than or equal to negative 86. Divide by 4 on both sides. x is less than or equal to negative 21.5. If I can get x to be larger than 31, or if I can get it to be less than negative 21.5, then I will end up with values inside of here that are outside of the either larger than 105 or less than negative 105. We've got 31 here. We've got negative 21.5 there. We're allowed to equal 31. We're allowed to equal negative 21.5. We're allowed to be bigger than 31. We're allowed to be smaller than negative 21.5. When you have a greater than situation, this is how your number line is going to end up. We, As long as we can keep our numbers outside of a certain zone, we make that inequality true. Looking at another one, similarly, if I can get what's inside of here to be smaller than 13, that will satisfy the requirements. But I can't let it get too small. Because if, if what's inside of here becomes negative 14, negative 14 becomes positive with the absolute value. 14 is not less than 13. So this this is one end that I'm restricted to and the other end that I'm restricted to is I need to keep this value bigger than negative 13. I have to stay in the zone from negative 13 to positive 13. If I get outside of that zone then I will make this a, this inequality untrue. Same as the last type though. We're, we're writing the inequality exactly as it appears, just drop the absolute values, and then we are also rewriting it, reverse the symbol, and take the opposite of the value. Solving then goes on as before, add 2 to both sides, t plus 5 on 9 is less than 15, multiply by 9 on both sides, t plus 5 is less than 135. And subtract 5 from both sides, t is less than 130. So if I can keep t smaller than 130, and at 2 to both sides, t plus 5 over 9 is bigger than negative 11. Multiply by 9 on both sides, 
2 plus 5 is bigger than negative 99. Subtract 5 from both sides. T is bigger than negative 104. If I can keep T between negative 104 and positive 130, then I will keep this situation true. We've got 0, we've got 130, we've got negative 104. We're not allowed to equal 130. We're not allowed to equal 104. We're allowed to be smaller than 130 and bigger than negative 104. Okay, so I have to restrict my t values to between these endpoints. All right, and again, if you have a less than situation, that's how your number line's going to look. We get restricted to a certain zone so that we can stay less than 13. Greater than situation, we get prevented from entering a certain zone. We have to stay outside of a zone so that we can be bigger than 105. Less than situation, we have to get restricted to stay inside of the zone so that we can stay less than. If you have values that are outside of the absolute value, you have to start your opposite operation process first just to get this by itself. So I need to get rid of the plus 8 and the divide by 10. Multiply by 10 on both sides, you get 14 minus 3x in absolutes plus 8 equals 70 subtract 8 on both sides you get 14 minus 3x equals 62 now that the absolute value is isolated now is the time that I will break my solution into two pieces 14 minus 3x equals 62 or 14 minus 3x equals negative 62 okay if i can get a negative 62 inside of here absolute value will turn it positive so either one of these will solve that equation subtract 14 from both sides we got negative 3x equals 48 divide by negative 3 on both sides x equals negative 16 subtract 14 both sides we get negative 76 divide by 3 on both sides we get x equal to positive 25.3 so either one of these answers will solve that equation one more example just so I can remind you of this track 27 from both sides we get negative m on 6 plus 9 less than negative 20. I still have this negative symbol outside here. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. If ever you have an inequality and you multiply both sides or divide both sides by a negative number, this direction of the inequality needs to flip. Direction flips because we multiplied both sides by a negative. Now break this into two pieces m over 6 plus 9 is bigger than 20, or m over 6 plus 9 is less than negative 20. Solve the equation. Subtract 9 from both sides. m over 6 is bigger than 11. m is bigger than 66, or m over 6 is less than negative 29. m is less than negative 120 plus 54, 174. Graph it. 0, negative 174, 66. We're not allowed to equal 66. We're not allowed to equal negative 174. M is allowed to be smaller than negative 174 or bigger than 66. Make that equation true. That is solving equations and inequalities that have an absolute value component.